So if you want to know where your kids are headed, find out who they're hanging with after school. If you want to know where you're headed, look around at your close circle with who you're hanging out. Because whoever you are hanging out with more is going to determine the direction that you're moving. If I'm hanging about out with a bunch of fools all the time, my future's not going to look too great. And if you're spending no time with your wife, don't be surprised when she finally kicks you out on the curb and you come home to all your stuff on the, uh, on the lawn. If you don't focus on your kids, don't be surprised when they're in their teens and they don't want anything to do with you anymore. And if you don't focus on your job and you don't want to show up on time or show up at all, don't be surprised when they fill your spot because you are replacing them to them. But if you focus on Jesus, you'll get a future that is full, full of joy, full of happiness, full of contentment, full of completeness. If you focus on Jesus, then you know that you can flip to the book of maps and you'll know what goes on in the back of the Bible and you'll know that in the future, everything is going to turn out all right. And so we see the people in the upper room are all seeking the same thing. They are like-minded. And that is why it's important to surround yourself with other Christians. And this doesn't mean that you go out and you toss the loss out of your life. Don't neglect the knuckleheads. Just because they might still be in the world a little bit doesn't mean you suddenly need to be like, well, I've been to church and Jesus doesn't want me to associate with you anymore. Jesus was the friend of sinners. You've got to, uh, you know, have some boundaries. Some of y'all really need to know what boundaries are. Your ex doesn't need to be uh, your first priority at three o'clock in the morning when you're feeling lonely after a couple shots of Tito's. <clears throat> you are called to still be a witness to these people. Just like Jesus was, he sat down and he ate with sinners. And if it offended you that I just literally made that joke, imagine <laughs> how Jesus dealt with the Pharisees in the same exact way when they came up and they called him a glutton and a drunkard because he was hanging out with sinners. He didn't come for the righteous, he came for the lost. But if you find that your character is being changed in the wrong direction, it's not you being contagious, it's you being contaminated. So you need to surround yourself with people of faith because it is 